Well, how you doing, handsome and beautiful? Yes, handsome and beautiful. We like to keep it both ways here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Project Hospital, where <clears throat> if you made it to the end of last episode, you know that we got kicked in the rectum. I don't want to say testicles, because we don't all have testicles here. We all have rectums for the most part, right? We can all agree with that. Absolutely, it's, a, it's an anatomy thing, right? Anyways, uh, welcome back. Yeah, we're going to be looking at freaking... Thank you for the subscription, Matt. Appreciate that. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, 62 patients <clears throat> coming into the next day. Well, actually today. Now, that doesn't actually worry me too... Whoa, 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 whoa. That doesn't worry me too much um, right off the bat. And I'll tell you why here. Uh, so let's just take a look at yesterday, please. Yesterday, we lost $10,000. F. We only spent $6,000. So if we didn't spend $6,000 on buildings, we actually were going to lose about four grand. Um just as normal operation, that, that, that really sucks. But this is the reason why I'm not too upset on this first day as we go through here. Uh, we have a majority of our patients in hospital right now. They're gonna be checked out at 8 a.m. here. That's gonna catch us up back in the money. I know we're looking at negative $50,000 in the hole. Don't worry, we'll get out of that. What that means is that this next day, or this day today, we can't spend money. I'm gonna hit fast forward. We can't spend money because uh, we won't have the patients the following day to check out that will help us reimburse our money. Luckily, this is only for one day, right? Luckily, the t tabloid is 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 forty like forty percent patients. That's, that's incredible, dude. That's so many patients that just like honestly put the middle finger up to us and uh, went to your local. Uh, there's not really a universal uh, hospital out there, is there? Went to your local Mercy. Is that a universal hospital? Maybe in the United States? <laughs> I don't know. I almost said Red Cross, but that would just be a that that's just an insult. Not 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 as a foundation, but just it's not a hospital. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about at this point now. Uh yeah, so we're we're at What? Excuse me, Patricia? Are you okay? You died? Autopsy? Sorry? Peptic peptic ulcer disease? What is actually peptic ulcer, ulcer disease? A peptic ulcer, ulcer is an open uh, lesion in the lining of the stomach um, or the esophagus or the duodenum. Duodenum. It is most commonly caused by the bacteria or prolonged excessive use of ibuprofen. Maybe that could be it, right? Inside insides insides. Um, is that kind of like ibuprofen or is that something else? Is that that's an over-the-counter thing, right? I think. I don't know. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um We might be able to pull it off today with I say might. It very might. We might be, be able to pull off Jessica today. Uh maybe. Who knows? She's really uh just a wild card at this point. It's not her fault. It really isn't her fault. By the way, thank you. Oh my lord, here we go. <laughs> Airsoft noise fire became a member. Hey, thank you for the holy crap, Airsoft. 11 months. Thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate that. Uh, that was, that's almost a year. Hey, Christian. Thank you. 11 months for you too, Christian. Jesus. Well, coming up on a year for everybody. How you doing? Humphrey became a member. Hey, Rob. Hit me with the six months. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate that. Good to see you again, Rob. Jeffrey Nichols became a member. Jeffrey! Jeffrey Nichols, you actually hit one year! Thank you so much for one year, being a member of the channel for one whole freaking year. That is incredible. Isn't that crazy, guys? So, for some people that aren't that haven't been around that as long, um, this is... Well, now this is July, but... This was going into June. June last year in June we got the capabilities of having memberships. That's actually first when we got monetized was uh, last year in June. So exactly, I guess one year from now we hit like a thousand subscribers, right? And that gave me the capabilities of being able to have memberships. So that's very cool. Very cool to see uh, people coming in for a year and like supporting for a whole freaking year. That's absolutely insane uh, to me. Like that's crazy, dude. That's absolutely crazy. Hang on, let's time out right here. Take a look at Kate Clark. Uh, help her out. We'll do chest exam, physical examination, and then uh, we'll just kind of, well, you know, let's do a abdominal as well. And we'll, uh, we'll we'll do that and see what happens. Um, I'm not too worried. Like I said, we can't really do much today. We, if we do something today, it's going to affect us tomorrow. I'm talking in the game. We figured it out. Uh, good job. What do you need for that? Uh, a band? You need a band? Is that a surgical thing? Surgery. Yeah, it is a surgical thing. Okay, so what, what department is that? General surgery department? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we'll do that. 
um, get you everything else, and then regular hospitalization, hit me with the band, please. Thank you very much, and continue your day. Yeah, so I, like I said, we can't do, we gotta really gotta go, go by this day. It's day 90, we gotta go through it pretty fast, because we can't do anything about it. We do something today it's gonna hurt us tomorrow negative seventy eight thousand dollars in the hole don't worry that's gonna change my god look how like how many people are on the screen here right it just makes it so freaking um so much long wait for a bed in the hdu in internal medicine ah, right internal medicine the one time that we actually need an hdu and we don't have it available is that right hmm. right well it does say actually hdu hospitalization here you should be good to go yeah yeah you should be good to go somebody should be getting you oh uh, unless no there's not a free are you sure there's not a free bed there patricia taylor uh let me just check on that hang on let me see is there not a free bed for you um oh god oh my god i don't think there is <laughs> i don't think there is o m actual g there is not um is there a way and i don't know if this is a thing but i'm gonna actually see is there a way to um transfer probably not right can we not transfer patient is already hospitalized at higher or similar priority ward you can you can try changing the department you can't change uh an hdu to a uh regular hospitalization can you that's nothing that's something that you don't have in the game that's actually interesting because i wonder why uh my thought process is why uh, i think in real life you would be able to go from high dependency unit to a regular hospitalization unit uh yeah that kind of sucks okay well i'm not like i said i can't do much right now my hands are tied so i'm gonna just let that continue unfortunately for her she might get the shit end of the stick but 8 a.m is gonna troll in here we're gonna go from seventy five thousand dollars to 37 sorry negative 37 by the way thank you aldwin for uh, subscribing to the channel appreciate that thank you very much pharmacy is too small like stop stop telling me my thing is too small all right trust me trust me the wife never mind okay um eighteen thousand negative eighteen thousand dollars yeah eight, negative eighteen thousand dollars now negative seventeen thousand we're looking pretty spicy we're looking pretty good baby i'll tell you what we're doing a, we're doing a good job nothing can be spent today nobody's spending any money today because when tomorrow comes we're gonna have not a lot of people in the beds you know what thinking about it there might be people discharging after that for that internal medicine uh hdu thing uh this guy's collapsing have a good day no but uh, i think a lot of people might have actually um uh, checked out let's see here yeah wow almost everybody in internal medicine checked out at 8 a.m that is incredible <laughs> holy moly dude Wow, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, patients collapsing. Have a good day as well. We'll figure you out later. Oh, yeah, by the way, we have this little gift shop in case nobody saw that. Uh, towards the, I think it was towards the end of the last episode, too. We do have a gift shop over here. And the whole point of this was to kind of help out the general surgery department. It, it was. I know, like, these rooms, these prefab rooms, they definitely are not space efficient. They're not going to help us uh, efficiently with space. That's kind of what I just said. But, you know... It's kind of like the lazy approach of it, really. I mean, I could go into doing something like this again and just make a big HDU uh, for uh, General Surgery Department, which was a long time ago. That was kind of the plan to do, but I kind of disregarded it uh, going forward. So when it comes down to uh, HDU for General Surgery Department, we might have to go upstairs and, and, and do it. or You know, because guys, like, by the way, uh, we have a third floor that we can still work with, right? We have a third floor. Which, yeah, that's good. That's good, yeah? A third floor, yeah? Yeah, damn right it's good. Damn right it's good. I don't know. There's room. There's room to work with. Uh, clinic is about to, or clinic patient is about to leave. Let's go ahead and take a look at this person. Uh, this person knows where they're going. Uh, however, they do not have a doctor assigned. Uh, let's actually take a look. Where are you at? Where are you stationed at? Uh, oh, you're stationed right there. What are you actually doing? Ah, you're doing a lot of different things. Anti-diarrheal uh yeah we'll do that i guess you're waiting for a sample i mean really there's nothing anything else we can really do at this given time right unless you just wait i, mean, I know it might have you know it might have taken a long time to get to this point but hey at least we're do going somewhere with the direction i hate the fact that you did not have a doctor i will give you a doctor uh, you are at a two star we'll, we'll sing it how it is we are in the positives we have three thousand dollars but that's gonna like drop here very soon once the night shift does come in um I hope the doctor can figure you out and you not be too upset about where you're going. Yeah, go, you're going to the doctor right now. 
You are now being treated very well. The doctor will treat you now. Uh, give you anti-diarrheals. Uh, do a little bit of uh, sur serological testing. Hell if I know. Uh, where did you go now? You're going upstairs. A clinic patient spent half a day in the hospital without being treated or hospitalized. If there are tests running, the patient will return to the... Oh, if there are tests running, the patient will return the next day. Oh, oh, well, there is tests running. Yeah, there's tests running. So you'll be back tomorrow, Lisa. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. We'll have to see. Like I said, I'm not doing a day. I'm not lifting a finger today. I'm not lifting. I'm, I'm not spending money. It's not happening. The fact that we're getting 62 patients in today, which, by the way, now looking at it, if you just take a look right here, forehead, you've treated 82 people today. You've treated 83 people today. Maybe we're the best of all time. Maybe we're, we're actually the greatest of all time. You ever think of that? You ever think about that? Still don't. I, I'm still upset about the whole pharmacy thing. I will I will be real with you. I hate the fact that we're still considered small when we have like four different pharmacies everywhere. A little upset about that. We're about to hit 20 grand. We're going to dip into the negative. Hey, you know what? Today, well, no, no, actually pipe down a little bit. I would say maybe today is a lot profitable than you think. Well, yeah, it's because of the, it was yesterday. Um, so... Negative $29,000. Not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Um, if this number is correct and we did get 86 patients in today to treat, uh, we might not be looking too bad going into the next day. Because the, the next day, I'm thinking that it's going to be a real uh, banger. Like, I feel like we're going to get hit hard financially just because of the lack of patients. But it doesn't seem like be like that now. Uh, my my lady, my lady, my, my sweet thing. Uh, what are you doing? Physical examination. Let's do a physical examination and see where you land here. Where are you? Let's zoom in on you. Uh, looks like uh, physical examination is still under control. Right? Still doing it? Still doing it? We're watching, I think. Yeah? Maybe a sampling? Or, uh, yeah. There, there's your sampling right there. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, good. That should figure it out, yeah? Probably. I mean, it's, pr well, I'm, I'm assuming it's nail fungus. Hopefully they think the same thing. Uh, differential diagnosis. Let's go with that. Uh, I really want to put Jessica right in training. Like, I don't want her to be here, but we don't have any funds to put her in training right now. Gosh, God almighty. Good God almighty. Uh, nail fungus it is. All right, so that's what it is. Uh, treat her with that, please. Thank you. Yep, she's going to be treated. Good. She can go home. Uh, send a treated patient home. There you go. go. Go home, Elizabeth. Go home. Fly like the wind. Fly like an eagle. R. Kelly, 30 years in prison. Uh, patient numbers are back to normal. Very well. Uh, that's good. That's good. 115 people. That's almost double than, you know, what was projected, obviously. But it doesn't seem like it hurt us too bad. Uh, I was actually expecting a little bit, you know, to, I was really expected to be like punched out there uh, patient wise. But it did seem to be kind of busy. It wasn't the busiest, but at least it was kind of busy. Right. All right, so now we just got to go through this. Let's see where we sit here money-wise financially yesterday. 21 grand. Yeah, 21 grand, and you didn't have to, like, spend a dime on any building stuff, right? Good job. Good job, forehead. Wonderful job. Um, You could be cocky about it and be like, oh, yeah, let's spend that 20 grand and put it back into the loan. No, no, let's, let's not do that. Let's please not do that. Really, anything I'm saving up for is to purchase three more ambulances. That's my main goal. Have nine fully working departments scares the crap out of me. Uh, getting $300,000 grant from the level up on the doctor is obviously priority number one, too, as well. Uh, I can't have two number one priorities, can I? I can. Don't tell me I can't. Um, open up infectious disease might be the last thing I ever do because that also terrifies me. Traumatology would probably be the next thing I go for, right? Traumatology. If I open up, well, there's actually neurology, too. We haven't really opened up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I think we have eight technically. I don't think administrative actually counts as a department, functioning department. I don't know. So if we open up neurology, that might give us that quest, that insurance quest, whatever the hell it's called, right? Uh, let's go ahead and give you a chest and a physical examination there and see where we're at. You're looking like you're doing a little bit of this and that and that and this. Uh, bronchitis, possibly. Uh, still going on it. Cyanitis. Um, asparagus. Simple chronic bronchitis, you know. Histophalamid uh, phasmophobias? Yes. Uh, all these different things is wrong with them, possibly. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Chest is done. Are you still doing the physical? Do the oral on him. Please do the oral. Hit me with the oral. Hit me with the nasal uh, 
uh, cavity as well. Okay, oral will show nothing. Nasal will show something, right? Yo, cyanitis. Get actually yeeted. Uh, saline, have a little bit of saline, have a, li have a little bit of NyQuil, and call me in the morning. Very well. Uh, okay, we're about to switch shifts here. $62,000 in the hole. That's all right. Um, let's see how much money we get back here on 8 a.m. Don't tell me the pharmacy is small or I will riot. I might riot. Okay, procedure's done here. Hey, Stairway, uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Stairway. Uh, stairway Wit. Thank you very much. Very, very much. That was very kind of you. Uh, send the patient home. David Hall, get out of here. All right, here we go. 60K, negative 60K to what? Show me the numbers, baby. I want to see it. I want to see it. Put me in the positives early on here. Early into the day. That was a kick to the gonads. Right. Uh, employee level up. Good. You want to be is now a master scientist? What the hell are you talking about? You're a master scientist. I guess you are. Selling medicines? That's your allowed role is selling medicine? I hired a master scientist. My man, I feel like you need to be in the biochemist. <laughs> I don't feel like you need to be like handing out Tylenol. What the heck? Oh my god damn. You know what? We're, our money's looking fair. We're looking fair today. Yeah. We're going to get a good influx here. We might not do a damn thing today except just monitor the hospital. I don't want it to be like that, but it is feeling that way. Money is just... Tying up my hands right now. It, it really is. I know I could get a loan out, but let's be honest here. I'm trying to eliminate the loan, not add to the loan. <sighs> all right. All right. Trauma neuro neurology. Neurology is going to be the next department I open up eventually. Um, and we'll probably do that on like a, on a room three type thing. Floor three. Yeah. We'll do neurology, maybe traumatology up there. Possibly pathology as well. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know where to put a pathology at. Um, usually I would think you would probably want to put that in a, um, in a, in a, in a basement, but maybe that's just me. Okay. So there's no waiting room available around a diagnostics room. There's no valid waiting room within reach of a sonography unit. Where the hell are you? So you're in orthopedics and you could have that, or you can have that. And they're issuing you a USG, and we do not have a USG available. Is that what you're saying? What if I cancel your USG and just go for differential diagnosis? Can I just do that instead and maybe cut the cord there? Let's try that out. Can we do that? Uh, there's no free bed for required hospitalization. Uh, what are you needing? Well, we don't even know what you need, but you are. It looks like a heart thing. So I might throw you into cardiology, possibly. Um... Hang on a sec. Let's see what we have here going on. Really? Um, trauma center hospitalization. There's no trauma centers. Very much so. Okay. Right. No more trauma centers. Where are we at trauma wise? Are we filled up? We are filled up, aren't we? So where are you doing here, Barbara? Right? White? Um, you are being figured out. What about this person? We're starting to feel the, the pressure a little bit. This person's trying to be figured out as well. We are feeling the pressure here of the ambulances coming in and doing their thing. Now that you see that there's no trauma center hospitalization, uh, that sucks. That really sucks. This person needs bandages and needs an x-ray. And possibly needs surgery. So hang on a sec. Maybe we can work this out. Either way, you're going to have surgery so what we're going to do is we're going to switch you to the orthopedic um you will get a uh you will get an hdu hospitalization yeah that's the first thing you'll do you'll get an x-ray i guess but you should be able to leave this this uh this room right away patient is collapsing no 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 patient is collapsing no 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 too many people collapsing now Damn it, collapses to another hospital. All right. This should be top priority. Like, send it in. See? Okay, here we go. Margaret, there's a person being transferred. Okay, Margaret, you are now available available for trauma center. Yeah. So, give her all a bunch of this stuff. She should be transferred here. This is Judy. <laughs> Holy crap. 
We just have so many people, don't we? Okay, all right. So you can see the issue here. It's 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 blatantly obvious. Uh, trauma center. Yeah, we got to have trauma center. So we got to get more money here. It is what it is. I think what's happening is we're getting a backlog. Uh, people are 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 literally passing out in our emergency rooms uh, due to pain and uh, long waits. And uh, what's really happening is we're getting backed up uh, with the. When people do collapse, we're getting backed up when the, hosp when the hospital arrives, when the ambulances do arrive. So this area over here is probably going to be a dedicated trauma center. Yeah, we're going to make this a big dedicated trauma center. And that's going to be what we need to do. So really what we have to do is we have to just kind of skip through here. Uh, let these people possibly die in our, in our hands. But uh, we need money. I don't want to. I, I really don't want to... Uh, to um, I really don't want to buy, or sorry, I don't really want to get another loan. So I'm going to try as much as I can, uh, use the cash flow that I get today, and we'll try to make the cheapest of cheap uh, trauma centers of all time. Which also means that observation room duty here uh, will be shut down for now. Not shut down, but really uh, shut down expansion-wise. If we need more observation rooms, I can take this big-ass observation room and shrink it down and make more beds, throw more beds in there and uh, kind of like give me it there a little bit uh, i just want to make sure that i have enough money to do this i don't know how much money this is going to cost me uh but it, it, it's here it's it, ladies and gentlemen uh trauma center is definitely here so i would like to go i would like to go this way with it please this this hang on a sec let me just think here this this that's the way i want to go this is going to be uh the trauma center then we're going to build the foundation out obviously thank you build the foundation out thank you how much money do we have four thousand dollars okay and then we're going to build out the little freaking uh, wall here push it out a little bit there we go we're going to delete this wall back here pull it through wonderful and then we're going to put a wall in the back here there we go and this is a bigger trauma center, which is actually good for the future because overall, once things do get spicier and we start to get more and more ambulances, uh, we're going to need more trauma centers anyways. It is what it is. Um, is it the end of all? No, it's not the end of all because uh, there, there's going to be more uh, room that we're going to need for trauma center. But this, you know, this is this is what it is for right now. All right, let's put the uh, double doors right there. Now, this is actually kind of interesting because I don't know. Can I just throw in a bunch of things? So there's an operating table, technically. So there is an operating table. I don't know how many things I can put in here. I'll try my best to squeeze in as much as I can. So let's see here. Let's go. I don't even know which way to like do this. I guess we can go. Maybe we can go like this. $4,000. Oh, <laughs> dude. $4,000. Damn. That hurt. Patient died. So did I. Holy crap. Okay, I was not expecting five grand on that, uh, on 4,000, whatever the hell that was. $4,500 on that bed? Yeah, all right. Slap my booty. Uh, booty pirate. Um, right. This is gonna hurt. It's gonna take a while for me to get this in. And this is actually a pretty important thing. Having the trauma center is very, 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 very extremely important. And I know I've already said, like, I don't want to pull out another loan, but I might tinkle in a, a, an extra 20K. I might, I might just to get this situated so that we don't have a lot of problems uh, going forward because that's what's going to happen is we're going to have a lot of more problems, uh, even though, which is weird because, like, our rating, our prestige is, like, almost at a five star, right? That is crazy. Like, everything is five star except for cardiology and medical laboratories. It didn't feel like a five star after today because of all the moans and groans that the game was throwing at me. But hey, you know what? Whatever. I guess cardiology was probably the worst of it all. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any more, um, any more, uh, what is it? Any more, pff, did I put this in wrong? There we go. There we go. Let's put that in right. Anesthesia. Oh my God. 30K. 3,500. Sorry. Um, oh, Frickin' dick. Frickin' dick? Frickin' dick, is that a thing? Well, give me 20k. Give me 20k. I know. I know. 
I know. Hate me. Hate me. Hate me. Okay. Now throw this in. Good job. Uh, defib. Uh, right. Nope. Don't want that. Uh, dis disinfectant. Put it right there. Um, equipment table. Uh, put it right there. A defibrillator wall. Uh, right there. I guess. Uh, medical light. Uh, right there. Um, mobile workstation. Honestly, anywhere, right? A mobile workstation could technically be anywhere. It doesn't need to be specifically somewhere. Because they could just, I guess, use it, kind of. Uh, OP digital imaging. Where does that go? Hell if I know. <laughs> doesn't look like it needs to be anywhere specific, no? Doesn't look like it, I don't think, right? I don't think it does. Just right there. Uh, chart board. Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty important. Put that right there. Equipment table. Sure. Equipment table right here. Come on. Right there. Okay. Uh, fast USG. We'll put that right. Sorry. Put that right there. Okay. And then, um, that's good. That that's, uh, that's, that's a workable, um, workable thing. Yeah. So then let's kind of squeeze in brothers. In oh God. It's still going to be too much money. Um, yes. Let's try to squeeze in more. Anesthesia. Medical lights. Not enough money. Um, right. One of the two is work. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think the second one's going to work. Uh, but we have something up and running here. 49k into the hole here. Help me out. Patient is collapsing. Uh, right. Help him out. Give him a diet modification. That's what he needs. That's why he's dying in here. But yes. Um, Rachel Harris, same thing. I don't think... I don't think... I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that second one's going to work. Whatever. Not whatever, actually. That, that's a wrong choice of words. Whatever as in, like, I'll be back when I have enough money. That, that, that's what I mean by that. Uh, you need rest. Prescribe. There you go. Easy money. I'll be back when I know I have more money, but at least I know you're functional and I can add an additional trauma center. You, my man, do I really have to tell you to go, like, get your ass home? Go home. Get home. Get out of here. There you go. All right. Well, that's something. I don't know. Was it a good day? Uh, no, it wasn't a good day. Uh, why? Because we were projected to have 115 patients and we only treated about 80 patients, 82 patients. So I, I still don't think that that was very good. That's going to hurt us still. This is kind of interesting. Uh, iron deficiency, uh, hemo, hemolytic, hemolytic, and anemia, anemia, uh, hemolytic, 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 anemia, uh, and heart failure and or heart failure. <sighs> Like, honestly, like, you're, you're, you're really just, like, throwing in the hard stuff here. Give me an echo, maybe. Give me an echo, Karen. Karen King? Karen King, the king of Karens? Yeah. Practically, you could say. For sure, for sure, dude. Right? Right. I kind of keep in my eye over here just in case if I see this little trauma center do get used. I, I am interested to see what they do. <laughs> Because it looks awful, dude. That trauma center room looks god-awful. Okay, um, right. That was the end of the first day. Uh, how did we do? Or not end of the first day, but end of that day. Yeah, we spent $32,000 and we lost $39,000 altogether. So if we didn't spend the money that we did, and we didn't pick out the loan that we did, we would have lost still $7,000 all in that day. So what does that mean? Well, it means that when we have 80 patients come into the hospital, it's not good. Um, it means we're not profitable. Um, we're only profitable when we have 100 plus patients into the hospital. That means day 92. Uh, we saw what happened in day 91. 82 or so patients came in and were treated. Um, that means that this is going to be another day that we're not profitable. Unless, unless there's a lot of people that come out of surgery. But I don't feel like it's going to be a very profitable day. 
I don't know. I could be wrong about that, but I, I, I don't I don't have a feeling. I have a feeling that I'm not wrong about that. Have you ever had the feeling of not being wrong? It's a weird thing to think about. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, hello, Rachel. Yeah, deep wound, like fix her up, please. Let's go. Bandage her up. Underlay, underlay. Mama E I E I O uh O. -oh. What's coming to now, right? Underlay, underlay. Is that Nelly? I think that's Nelly, right? Yeah, Nelly. Anybody using this up here? Oh my god, somebody's actually using it, dude. Oh my god. Procedures have finished for a diagnosed patient. Uh, what would you like her to do? I would like her to get her ass home. That's what I would like for her to do. Thank you. I uh, appreciate that. No, this is... <laughs> it's working, dude, but it, it, hey. she. I feel like she's alone. Okay, she is not alone. She's good. She's fine. She's fine. Don't worry about her. But we know, hey. Right on, brother. We're doing it. Oh, this is going to hurt. Here comes 7 a.m. Watch our money just just freaking just get shot to hell here. Uh, spend a lot of time in the hospital without being treated or hospitalized and getting waiting of tired or getting tired of waiting. Right. Uh, what is your deal? Uh, you could have anything. You could have anything. And we're trying to figure you out. We're actually doing a swallow on you. Brooke, are you actually good at your job? <laughs> are you good at your job? Whatever. Just whatever. Here we go. Let's let's get hit. Every oh god damn. Come on, Daniel. Patient is collapsing. Yes. Keep him alive. Seventy-eight nine seventy-eight thousand dollars in the hole. We're pushing though. We are pushing. I'm pushing as much as I can. I'm pushing as hard as I can, dude. I, I really am. I really, really am. I want to be there for everybody. I, I, I want to uh make it out alive here in this game. Uh 8 a.m. is about to cross. Where does that put us financially? Pharmacy is too small. Suck it. Honestly, just suck it. Um, we're looking all right. We're looking all right. Not really. Um, not really. Ah. Not sold. Not sold. Let me take a look at the receptionist here. I'm going to take a look at receptionist. See how well and what's going on here in receptionist. Uh, we did get like kind of a bottleneck here in this receptionist on the internal medicine uh, receptionist a couple episodes ago. This guy just literally dropped right in there. Right there. I feel like... I feel like we need more emergency... Uh, I feel like we need more clinic doctors. Emergency room doctors. That's how I feel. I could be wrong about that, but I just feel like these people are waiting too much. And I do have receptionists in. You know, I do have receptionists in. They're doing the best that they can, right? But I, I still don't think it's making a difference. Like, honestly, this guy over here or this person over here in the cardiology receptionist. Like, I feel like they don't do a damn thing as they just did something right in front of me. Okay. Right, then my blame is going back onto the emergency clinic. <laughs> my blame is going back here. That is what it is. I feel like we just don't have enough doctors in here. I feel like we don't have enough doctors for the intake that we're bringing in. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, too many people need too much. And I know we have these emergency doctors over here. Um... But still, Jessica, how dare you die? How old were you? 34 years old. You were a teacher, too, and you died from what? A cardiac blunt injury? What happened? Did someone punch you or kick you in the... Or did you get in a car accident? What the hell? That's terrible. God awful. All right. Very well. Very, very well. That, that's... I, I don't know what to say other than that was bad. Right? Very bad. We are in the positives, though. We are in the positives. Patient is collapsing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like these two machines here are in a terrible spot. I do. I do feel like these are in a very, very bad spot. Susan Hall is saying, I need somewhere to go as far as my trauma center goes. Um, that's right, Tr Susan. Uh, you do need somewhere to go. Let me see if I can fix you up here. With a uh, medical light. <laughs> and um, let me see where you're at now. There you go. Susan. Susan Hall. 
you are available to go into trauma now. So make sure you get to trauma fast. There we go. Get the bucket out of the way, dude. She's coming through. There we go. Help her out. Very well. There you go. Now, now if you lined up like four or five beds in here and you have one wall defibrillator, would that be good or bad? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I, realistically, I think, oh, probably bad. What if two people are having a bad time, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, bed required for examination of chest acoustic acoustication. Acoustication? Is that how you say it? Acoustical. Oscu you you know I want to say fuck so bad, and I just did. Um, right. Let's see here. Um, what do you what do you what, wait 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 wait? You need a. Why do you need a bed for this? Where, wait, hang on a sec. Where are you? You're oh you're in there. Oh, you're in the trauma center. Oh well, then I feel like this is a staff thing. Yeah, he's checking you out though. That's a staff thing. It's a little bit worrisome. Uh, let's take a look here. Now that we're getting the added uh, added pressure of trauma, uh, we're probably going to get the added pressure of nurses and uh, doctors and stuff like that. Daytime seems to be very spicy, obviously, right? Uh, obviously. So I would like to squeeze in some more, some more nurses into here. I would, I would, I would. Some of these things I don't feel like need to be in here. Like this, I don't think it technically needs to be in there to be operable. This doesn't need to be in there to be operable. This doesn't need to be there to be operable. This doesn't need to be in there to be operable. So what I'm going to do is then I'm going to add the office desk. I'm going to put it right there and right there. Perfect. That works out good. I'm going to go office chair. We're going to go white. We're going to put it right there. Right there. And we're going to grab ourselves a PC to match everybody else. Put that right there. Right that, right there. And that gives us the option, right? I don't even think we need oxygen, technically. So I'm going to get rid of the oxygen. And instead, I'm going to put a freaking wheelchair in there. Yeah. Kind of upgrading this. Not upgrading it, but like making it better. Functionality. Uh, good. So then that gives us the ability to add a couple more nurses during the day, which seems to be a big issue here. And in, in, in now that we're getting more and more patients through here, right? It's understandable. <sighs> like patient care, good, but like long commute, F. Patient care, bad, but like work hard, good. Hard worker, I guess not good. These people actually suck. Fresh parrot. Um, guess I'll hire you, Mary Martin. And then see what else we got from that. Jessica Walker. Oh my god, we got terrible people. Um, We'll just do one for now. We'll do one for now. And if I have any staff problems uh, going forward, then uh, I'll figure it out. But she'll go right to, right to the job. She'll go right to the job. We could slowly start building on Trauma Center even now. Like, bam, 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 add up another bed, you know? Slowly build up the trauma center. Oh my god, there's the patient again. Is this a different patient? This is the same patient. Patient died, Fraser, and he died in ICU to be exact. Uh, was critical despite your de your Dexters, your doctor's best efforts, they couldn't be saved. Would more efficient hospital handle this better? Are you saying that I'm not efficient enough? Is that what you're, what you're, what you're telling me, good sir? Telling me that I don't have the right people or the right uh, flow of traffic going on. You could be right. Could be right for sure. Could be right for sure. Now, before 20 hundred and before the shift changes over, I could, if I wanted to, slide in a little bit of a bed there. To kind of prepare for the next traumas. Where's our traumas at right now? Yeah, our trauma centers are just about full except for this one room right there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and cheese it. Not cheese it, but I'm going to go ahead and add another. I'm going to go with this. So it does work if I do that. So I can go like that, right? Yeah, I can go like that. Get away with it. Add another workstation. Do that. Can't do anything else. I need a light for that to be operable. But overall, it's all good. Overall, all good. Hit me with the freaking big money, dude. Yeah, 49k. In the hole. 
Uh, overall, day 92, I will say. Um, we're looking at 90 treated patients, possibly 100. Possibly 100 towards the end of the night. That's better. That's better than yesterday, I believe. So that means a little bit more extra money coming in tomorrow. I wish an event would happen. I, I do wish that. But there is no event. The fact that we are in the negatives during the nighttime is really, really slowing down this uh, this lady here from being trained. Uh, which definitely sucks. So she's really working on her own here. You know, so be it. Whatever. But, uh, yeah. We could definitely be out of debt if she was not the way she was. <laughs> If she was not a slow learner, if she was not a night owl, we could probably be out of uh, out of a loan here with three hundred thousand dollars. That would be sick. Well, you know, after using up that money to to spend back the loan, but bed required for treatment. Abdominal surgery is required, but your staff seems to be busy. Yeah, what do we have going on here? What is so damn busy, huh? What is so damn busy? Can't be a surgery thing. Waiting for a surgical team. Okay, it is a surgery thing. All right, very well. Uh, where are they at here, surgery-wise? Are they like... They are kind of... Look, take a number. Get ready for your sandwich to be ordered because they're a little bit backed up, my man. Um, that's on them. <laughs> I, I say that. Because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> like, they're working through the, you know, through the clock here. They're trying their best to get everything done. So just, like, hold yourself there, Fishula, and hope for the best. Because we're trying. I mean, maybe having another surgery room would be good, but F, man. I don't know. Uh, nationwide, financial crisis causes 10% lower insurance payments for two days. Thanks, bud. Appreciate that. Uh, we made $795. Even though we spent almost 10 grand in objects, we actually made a profit of $700. That's... That actually blew my mind. Patient can't be fully treated. Treatment for patients' diagnosis is available. Make it quick. Okay, let's see here. Uh, you can't be treated because you need IV antibiotics. But you also need to be hospitalized in order for that to happen. Now, it does say HDU is set there. So you are now in the HDU, right? Yeah, you are now being transferred to HDU. So like, don't ever bitch at me again. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Still watching this. This is still working out. Cool, dude. It's a, it's, it's a functional room that will have mass amounts of people in it. That's, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. These ambulances, man. They're, they're, they're creating a backlog that is just, it's good, but it, it just takes a lot of time. And I think, you know what, thinking about it realistically now, thinking about it, I think maybe possibly, well, no, I was going to say maybe these, these, these trauma center patients, these people that are coming in through trauma, maybe it's even backing up the emergency clinic, but not that wouldn't really, I don't think it would really matter because, uh, these patients in here have their own doctors. Yeah. They have their own doctors. So they're not sharing doctors and resources when it comes to people coming in through the clinic here. So that that just wouldn't make sense now, would it? It wouldn't. Complicated diagnosis for Judy Thompson here. Uh, right, Judy. Um, let's give you some vitamin supplementation, rehydration. Figure out what's wrong with you. Um, you could have a little bit of this. You could have hepatitis. You could have uh, fibrosis. Uh, you could have a little bit of anything, can't you? Uh, right. Um, okay, we can let the doctor try. See, this is Brooke again. I don't know. I don't know if I like Brooke anymore. Brooke? Where are you? Where are you? Brooke? Eighty six percent doctor rating is, you know, whatever. Seventy five percent diagnostics in the previous day doesn't sound good. I would not like to ride on a seventy five. I'll let the doctor try, though. Let's see what happens to this patient. I'm curious. This wait, she just took in another patient. Wait a sec. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. 
Um, you just took in another patient while you're trying to do this patient. Do we not have another night shift general surgery doctor? We might not. That might be a problem too. Um, right. What are you doing? One patient at a time, please. Let the doctor try. We want to get let the doctor try. Yeah, look at this. There's a. Um, there's three patients here for general surgery department. So that's that's an issue. That that's very much an issue. This could be backing up us a little bit here. Let's take a look at what we have for nights uh, nighttime uh, <clears throat> nighttime here. Advanced diagnosis for Fraser Cole. This guy is an absolute genius when it comes to diagnosis. General surgery. Like I honestly might hire him and fire Brooke. I'm gonna hire him because that's incredible. And then I'm going to switch her to Frasier. And we're going to see what happens there. Uh, go to Frasier, Judy. There you go. Let Frasier, like, scratch your back for a sec. Maybe he can figure you out. Yeah, he's checking you out. He's going home now because the freaking shift is over. $82,000 in the hole. $82,000 in the hole. My God, it's hurting. It's hurting my hole. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I wasn't very sold on, on Brooke there, though. I will say. Not very happy about that. And we're looking into a crisis here where there's going to be less payments for our insurance companies. It is uh, 8 a.m. We are going down. Pharmacy is still too small. I hate the fact that I have to do that more. I don't know. Maybe I mean, I still have two available options to hire people in the pharmacy. I don't feel like it's this pharmacy, though, that, that's breaking the bank here. I feel like it's upstairs. It's a pharmacy upstairs that's really hurting. Hurting for a squirting, really. Um, maybe it is this one. I don't know. There's a lot of people right here, yeah. There's a lot of people. Possibly. So upstairs, though, if I wanted to, I could actually use somewhere over here, this area, for a... Like, this big-ass box here, I could switch this pharmacy and put it in there when I have the funds. I could definitely do that, right? That, that, that'd be actually kind of good. Having a big second floor pharmacy would be good for everybody. What is your problem? Cyanitis? Help. Help her out. Don't just stand there, sir. Cardiology? Why are we treating her for cardiology if there's like... Okay, that's probably why. What else? She has one possible cardiology thing wrong with her. I don't feel like you're like... I feel like she's in, like, the wrong department for this. Can I put her somewhere else? Yeah, put her to Barbara. Let Barbara take a, like, take care of her. Jesus Christ. You guys are, like, out of control here. You guys honestly do not know how to run a hospital. Is it you or is it me? I'm really starting to blame them now. That's ridiculous. Patients collapsing. Tell me something I don't know. Please. All right. Negative $27,000 here. Um, we can take a look at how yesterday went. Let's do that. Uh, yesterday, let's see how it'll go. Did I already check, take a look at it yesterday? 7795? Yeah, that was yesterday. All right, so never mind. I already checked that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm lost in the sauce already, as you can probably tell. Anyways, all right, let's continue with that. Um, hope for the, hope for another day, but like 10% less, uh, money. Yeah, 10% less money. We'll see what happens. Our turnover rate is not bad. Like, on, on an average here, I will say, on an average, we maybe lose, maybe, maybe, maybe lose one to two patients a day. It's not drastic, right? It's not, like, game-breaking here. It's not like, oh, you'll go downhill if these patients do not get checked out, uh, right? I mean, there's, like, one or two people that are just saying, you know what, I've, I'm tired of waiting. Yes, there's a lot of people dying and collapsing, but that, that's a whole, well, not dying. There is a couple of people dying, but... Or mostly people that are just collapsing more than anything. So don't stress about that. I think overall we can we can iron itself out gradually. I think this is a slow process that we're in here. Very much so. I am still believing in the trauma center over there. I do believe in having a little bit more working room and things like that. will help people when people do collapse because we know how to F everything up. But yeah, I, I, I think overall... We're okay. I want to add maybe more emergency clinics. Sorry, emergency doctors, like clinic doctors. I'm keeping my eye over here, but there's nobody like in, in line here. There's nobody in line over here. Maybe it's just a fluke kind of day. Maybe we were very efficient today. That could be one thing as well. We're looking at already positive money here. 
almost 90 patients for the day alone. Uh, and we're only at 1,700, so that's pretty good. Uh, I think this is a very good day. The fact that we're getting 10% less money today kind of sucks, but, you know. Um, I'd rather have the patients in pain less than not have any patients in, in paying even amount, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Don't at me. Does it look like Trauma Center is overloading? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back down from Trauma Center for now. I'm going to finish this bed off, though, and give them a medical light. Uh, that is a now operating uh, table. So now we have three in there. We can probably even add three more if we really wanted to. But I'm going to back slowly away from that until we start to get more um, more uh, maximum capacity when it comes to the trauma center. Now, the fact that this does not have a, have, have a pathway uh, kind of disgusts me. So I'm going to fix that real quick. Yep. No. No. Finally. And we'll go about that. So I can focus my efforts and attention towards other things now that Trauma Center, I think, I feel like Trauma Center is 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 calming down a bit here. Now with the new hire, hiree, or hired person over here. Hang on a sec. Nighttime. Um, I don't think my person's in yet, right? Oh, Jessica is in. Oh, great. Uh, Jessica, my lady, my sweetie, my everything. Please, we need you to train your general medicine. Go on training. We have the money to do it. Go do it. Oh, finally. Good God. Okay. Um, yeah. One critical workload. Not too bad. 27 idle rooms. Sounds bad. Uh, so let's see here. Now that we have a dar uh, dark time. <laughs> now that we have a nighttime uh, general surgery doctor. Uh, that's good. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he actually go? Uh, where did he actually go? Uh, sir? Is that him right there? That is him right there. Okay. So his break room is right there, kind of far away, sort of far away from his uh, his place, maybe not too far away. I could get spicy with it and maybe add like a little bit of a break room over here kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe. It won't be too bad. I don't believe in Brooke. I, I, I don't. I don't. I, I, I for some reason don't believe in her. Like diagnostics yesterday was a 66%. That's bad. Right? That's bad. I don't feel good about her. Long wait for a bed required for dialysis. That's terrible. Uh, let's uh, get that going on, please. Let's throw him into the HDU. Right? HDU. Right? Dialysis? Right? Dialysis. Right. Oh, right there. Dialysis. Okay, good. I'm I thought that would have been an internal medicine thing, but I guess that's a general surgery thing. I didn't I didn't know that. Honestly, I didn't know that. Uh, right. Anyways. So Jessica's doing her thing. Let's see where she's at. Complicated diagnosis for Susan Green. Golfer's elbow or elbow really? Honestly? Like this just give her an x-ray. If you don't know what the hell's going on, just give her an x-ray. Not that hard. It's really not that hard. Jessica, how you doing? You're doing whatever you can do. You're studying. Get your study on, girl. You go. <laughs> uh, all right. So we did hit midnight. Uh, let's go ahead and pause the game. See where we're at financially. Financially, yesterday, we made $6,000. We did spend $600 on a freaking lamp, but we made $6,700. Profitable on a day where it was 10% lower in interest payments. We still have one more day to go 10% insurance, lo uh, insurance lower payments. Interest payments. Insurance. F. Uh, we still have another day for that. Um, overall, pretty good day, I think. I, yeah, I, I do think it was a pretty good day that day. Overall in the video, did we get a lot done? Well, not really. Uh, we're really trying to like bounce back from getting effed by the tabloids, um, then getting hit by some financial crisis, then getting really backed up in the trauma center, which now we feel like, I feel like we figured that out a little bit. Getting a little bit... Uh, antsy over here at the general surgery department during the nighttime where brooke is like what the hell are you doing and then fraser comes in and acts like an absolute g so that's where we're at still got to focus in on adding a bigger pharmacy but i want to add a bigger pharmacy upstairs i think this is where my pharmacy is going to go i'm going to have a massive pharmacy right there when i have the money and funds to do it that's what we're going to do we're going to move this out we're going to transfer this over to this and we're going to have a giant pharmacy there and i think that will be good for everyone overall uh, yeah, but anyways, I think that's going to do today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to hit the like, and I will see you guys in the next one.
next video in the next video yeah wherever that may be and do as always take care she said we better of his best friends who was the best friend